Okay, I'm going to start again now that I'm more awake. Um, <laughs> I made a tutorial quickly this morning because somebody, uh, when I woke up really, really early and they had asked me about another older, much older tutorial where I was trying to show how to fix one of the props I exported from Daz and um, that couldn't be fixed any other way. And anyway, he was saying, but, but how do I make a sub prop if the object is grayed out? And I think you can see the other tutorial. What? Uh, but from an FBX file, FBX, that's the key here, FBX. Let me show you something. This is this is the FBX, or let me actually, let me start from the beginning because you always, <laughs> start from the beginning. I'm going to load in this FBX file. Okay, it's an FBX file. And I don't know where he got it from, but there's a, a lot of files like this on the web. Okay. And, oh, 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 there we go. Cat just jumped on my lap. And uh, you notice it's already rigged. You can always tell that it's rigged already because it has these, uh, see it has the sub items already in here. And the reason this all started is, he was asking me, how do you make a, stub, a sub prop? See, there's a root row sub prop out of any of these items. Because if you try, they're all, they're all grayed out here. And that's true. That's because these are already sub props of the rig itself, the FBX rig. So what I demonstrated this morning was how basically how to deconstruct an FBX rig using Blender. Uh, however, and, and that's fine, and that's normally how I do it because I don't like to animate in iClone uh, anything other than subprops. I like using subprops to animate uh, an object. But, however, there are bones, there is a rig here, it's an FBX rig, and it can be, uh, it can be animated in iClone without doing anything else with it. You don't have to make subprops with it. But there's a trick to it. First of all, no, trick number one is you have to go down and it's with this with this root mode selected, and you have to go and convert it to a non-standard. Okay, convert to a non-standard, and then it will ask you to pick a. Uh, you need to pick a defining. Um, I'm sorry. All right. Ah, let me back that up. Convert to non-human. No, 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 no. no. Convert to non-human, because it's not a human. Convert to non-human. Okay, now you have to pick uh, the bounding box size. And that, that normally is the, not, you think, well, it's the root bone. It's the, it's this first thing here. You can tell, you can go down until it actually, bound, bone bounding becomes selective. And then you can adjust the, the actual size of the box. And that just means the size of the, of the entire object itself. That's what you would want to pick. So that's fine. Now, 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 this is the weird part. It is converted to a non-human. The problem is, and this is because of the damn Exchange 7.2 is all munged up. It's just, it's crap. A 7.2, uh, they owe us money for it. We should, they should never have, have released this thing. It's buggy and it doesn't work and they know it and they're not gonna fix it. And I'm really mad at Real Illusion for this. A piece of crap. So, uh, the re and the reason it's crap is you should be able to apply this to iClone. I should be able to hit this button and it should apply. Well, it doesn't. iClone's over here. Nothing's going to happen. Uh, you should also be able to go up here and apply it to iClone. Same thing. Nothing Nothing happens here. It just it won't come over into iClone. But you can't even do this. You can't even go to export which is a non-human character, buggy, apply it. You can't do this because you get this message, You're right? Now this, this is a very, not only is this message terrible, it's misleading because this has nothing to do with anything. This just means what this really should say is, please, I'm sorry, exchange 7.2 is a pile of crap. Okay, so if you have the other exchange, this is exchange um, six, this will work. And I, I want to show you that that is why that, that that's, uh, that's bugged up. So I go to buggy again, same thing. Let's go here and load it in. Takes a while. And then I go down here to uh, 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 convert to a non-human. Bounding box is the buggy, of course. Yes, that's correct. And now I can go and save this thing. File, export, same exact thing. Uh, and I'm saving it to, to, to downloads and bug. I've already done this one, so that's why I replace it. It's replace, hey, and that works. You know, the one thing I didn't try is I didn't see if I could export this into apply to icon. Let's just see if that works too. 
it really actually it won't because it's it's going to try to think about iClone 6 and not 7 so that's not going to work anyway but anyway now we're in iClone and now we can go into um, uh, da, 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 something here what am I doing here oh yeah it'll, it, it opened up 6 yeah see it's it, it did apply it to iClone 6 so if you have iClone 6 that's that's good too and then you can export it again but but forget all that I'm going <laughs> to that's why I hate exchange. It's just a pile of crap. 7.2. Okay, so what I'm doing is I'm going over in my other monitor here. I've got a dual monitor system. And I'm going to take the the um, buggy that I exported. I'm just going to drag it into here. So this is imported from 6. Okay? So I wanted to show you that this is how it actually works. So now it's in 6 as the FBX file exported from 6. And now we go over to animate it. And we go to edit motion layer. And then what we have is there's the bones to edit it. And so now you can come in here and go down to uh, the buggy and we'll go down to, you know, maybe go somewhere around here. And then we'll take the tire here, right? The tire. And then we'll animate it. So we can we can animate it. So we can do that. And we can do that same with the other tire and animate it. So now when we, when we run along the timeline, it animates, okay? So you can animate via the bones. I don't like animating this way for props. But you can, there's the gun, you know, the gun's up here, so you can rotate this around, you know, you can, you can do that stuff. And so that's, that's all animated. So, um, so you can do that you can, with an FBX file. You can leave the rig as a bone. You don't have to deconstruct it as I showed. And if 7.2 worked, you could actually do it from 7.2, but now you have to have 6. Now, the one thing I didn't try, I'm going to do this live to see. Here's 7. We've already seen that this doesn't work. I want to see something here for a minute. We know we can't export it because that won't work. Let's see if we can export it as an FBX, which would keep the rig itself. Definitely want to include the geometry. And we'll call it buggy three. <laughs> buggy is a good word for this. There's a whole thing. Yeah, see, you can't even do that. So 7.2 is complete crap. Uh, if you have six, you can do it. They should fix this, but I but Real Illusion has shown no propensity towards wanting to fix exchange at all i think they actually my hunch is my gut tells me that they're going to dump exchange because they're they're bringing out uh character created three which is going to have the ability to import and export uh much of the same as exchange i don't know what it's going to do with props but it's going to do clothing and people and other items so i think this is the ugly stepchild but uh, anyway so that's it that's how you how you do it so you, if you have six you can you can still use fbx files if you don't have six you're kind of sol